Welcome everyone. In today's video we'll have a look at the getting started with PIC 32 cm MC00 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit video and the project by Microchip. We're uh, gonna go through the project together. If you have not seen the video of the project you can find it here at that description. Uh, if you'd like to watch it you can watch it now or if you have seen it then please stay and uh, we're gonna go through the steps to achieve the results presented on the video. So you can find the files on the Microsoft GitHub. This is the getting started files needed for this project. Also you can find it on the microchip website underneath uh, the page where you can also buy this uh, evaluation kit. At the bottom of the page you can see different projects that include also the getting started getting started project that we will do uh, today. I'm going to minimize that. I've got my MP Lab X already open. I'm going to go to oh, I'm going to go to open project. There we go. And there uh, in here I've already unpacked the getting started project into this file, into this folder. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to go to firmware. Now indicated by this chip icon is uh, this file which micro, um, Microchip MP Lab X recognized as a project file, project folder. So I'm going to click open project and we can see the files loaded into the MP Lab X IDE. Now in a previous video where we had installed all the files needed for this project to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to uh, our add uh, the there we go tools embedded I'm gonna go to Harmony 3 configurator so I leave this as it is and I'm gonna click launch okay so this information says that this project was built on these files and our package that we downloaded last time is this version I think it will work it should it, it, it should work still unless there was a major change Let, let's have a look together so I'm going to click continue I'm not going to change anything in here I'm just going to click launch uh, we can see that Harmony 3 configurator is um, starting so that's a good sign now we've got it so okay so this is the project conf configured in uh, Harmony 3 by uh, Microsoft we can have a look here through the different files, uh, different um, settings as per the video. If you would like to uh, change something, if you know what you're doing, then you can do it from here. But I'm going to stop here for a second. And what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the TerraTerm terminal. Oh, let me just bring it in here. Okay. Then... I've got my terminal in here okay ready so what we're going to do is gonna, I'm gonna go to circum1 I'm gonna expand that so at this moment I want to configure my terminal to the settings of this um, uh, circum circum1 so we're gonna go to the setup serial port now at the moment there's nothing in there okay because our um, board is not connected if you've got the situation like that just don't worry what I'm gonna do is let's connect our uh, board pick 32 nano got it here okay it's connected so we've got the file now uh, folder for the uh, curiosity board I want to close it in the background you can see that the uh, kit window has opened in the MP Lab X some useful files in here links if you would like to have a look at this I'm gonna close it for a moment I'm gonna go back to there okay so now in our terminal we should have another COM port if you don't have it just cancel this go back to the serial port setup again and now you can see COM3 so click on that 
and you can see the description here that this is our board actually so the Terra term has recognized it got the information from the board and now we can see it so let's compare everything looks okay apart from the board rate so I'm just going to change that to 115200 okay I'm going to click new open so now the terminal is ready for the project I'm going to minimize that anything else everything else in here I'm just not going to touch we're going to go to the um, start page project okay that's that's where I like to start so we need to load this project to our board now to do that there's two ways we can go straight away and load the project uh, where the um, my microchip uh, MBLAB X is going to be asking which tools would you like to use and we can pick our board in here in that drop down list and click OK it's going to work you can also go to this settings and in here you can select the tool and load it from here I'm just going to cancel that and I'm going to go back to the this way where it's going to program our board straight away it's going to build the project and program the board so I'm selecting the tool, click OK, and it's loading, it's working, it's built successful, so there were no errors in the project. And now the first load might take a moment, OK, and the programming complete. So now let's just um, go to the source file, main C. This is where everything happens. Okay. Try to bring it like to the half a screen so we can see together what's happening there. And at the same time we can have a look at the board. Um, let's 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 leave it like that. Okay. Right. So the main C in the source file, this is our main file where the main program has been executed. So as we scroll down through the program, there's loads of things happening in here and uh, it looks a, a little bit confusing at the beginning, but as we go through the lessons, as we go through the different projects, then you will see um, what belongs to where and you'll be able to differentiate be between the different instructions uh, as well. So uh, at the moment, we know from the video if if you watch the video that microchip posted regarding this project we've got loads of uh, different peripherals um, activated especially like you you are with the real-time clock we've got the uh, input output ports and um, timer uh, we've got the interrupts so this is a little bit complicated project at the beginning nevertheless we can still learn um, quite a bit from there so there is some uh, periods specified some uh, variables there but now we see okay the timeouts seconds in here so let's go to the project and let's have a look if it's been loaded correctly and if it works as it should so on the board we can see that there is that LED is blinking um, at the rate of 500 milliseconds let's break the uh, terminal okay uh, there is the terminal maybe I should have have it like visible from the beginning but is is there now okay so according to the project if I click uh, if I press the uh, button the LED will toggle to one second uh, period okay now we can see it's changed the rate is changed to one second on one second off one second on one second off now another click changed to two seconds according to the project okay and now last click okay so what happened here you can see changed to four seconds changed to 500 milliseconds so 
the switch that switch has not got any debouncing on it there is no software debouncing there is no hardware hardware debouncing and because we operate in such a high frequency it's like 48 megahertz so this this is million instructions per second um really the the the, the button the the um, controller microcontroller picked up as we click this button twice so i'm going to try to go back there and I'm co click it quick okay eventually i made it to four seconds as you can see i had to make a few tries because uh, because of the debouncing so four seconds on four seconds off let's uh, let's minimize this terminal just quickly before we finish um again have a look at these files try to modify them see what you can get out of this don't worry if you don't understand much we're gonna go through this again step by step so in the end you will know what's happening there however just just quickly in here let's say that we would like to have a for instance seven seconds delay yes I'm gonna change let's say two seconds to seven seconds seven seconds okay we have to define the period of seven seconds I'm gonna change here to seven seconds now what the seven seconds is we've got the calculator now we've got one second is 1024 times this by seven seconds we got 7168 her, uh, kilohertz and I'm gonna just let's be lazy I'm gonna copy it in here okay paste without the comma so that is for the several seconds now the other place that we need to change this is in here there we go seven seconds um shouldn't be, you obviously shouldn't be doing any er, anything quick take your time with the projects consider every situation and possibility but now i'm just doing it quick before the end i'm going to try to build it okay it's built successful okay so this time i'll try to bring the terror term quickly or maybe i try to leave it here for a moment yep so let's build and program the microcontroller at the same time okay successful build programming complete so we can see the terminal's been reset to the 500 milliseconds as well as the led it's bringing there it is 500 milliseconds now it's going to be one second there we go one second one second now according to the program as we changed it after one second is seven seconds i'm trying to quick okay seven seconds so i'm gonna leave it there for a moment you can check calculate the time yourself uh, seven seconds on seven seconds off after each toggling obviously the interrupt is telling us the uh, it's displaying the information through the usart okay seven seconds and now it's going to be four seconds i'll try to click it fast there we go four seconds so this is the part of the coding again we're gonna do it slowly step by step i'm going to be talking about all what those what that means and all the other instructions i hope this video helped you guys to start with your board and i welcome you to our next videos where we're gonna be starting a series of tutorials just from the scratch thank you very much for today i'll see you next time thank you bye bye